Hello and welcome to How to Get Started in IT. I'm Cherokee Boos and today, well, I'm talking about how I got started in IT. When I was young, I had aspirations of becoming a journalist and working for some glamorous magazine, uh, maybe like Anna Wintour or something like that. But the reality of it was, I ended up working for a publishing company and our main product was a newspaper. And it definitely wasn't as glamorous as I had envisioned. So between the hum of the press and the smell of the ink, every day I was reminded of a 2 p.m. deadline that we had. And it was very monotonous. I had the same task every day. And the only challenge would be an occasional issue that would arise with maybe a coworker's computer or printer. And that would kind of be the highlight of my day is really helping uh, people with those sorts of problems. And just going through day in, day out without having serious challenges, I had to finally ask myself, you know, is, could I continue to do that? And the answer was no. I couldn't sustain um, a career in that particular field and also be happy or have that uh, self-satisfaction, if you will. And I took a leap of faith. I enrolled in a tech school. And luckily, I had a really great instructor and he encouraged all the students to immerse themselves in all thing tech. And that's exactly what I did. I started at an internship for a networking company. I was just trying to learn as much as I could in a short amount of time. I also picked up a job as a traveling computer and network repair technician. And this was such a difference from what I had seen before because not only was every day different, but literally every job was different, right? And like I said, it wasn't always easy. I had my fair share of problems. I can remember this one woman who actually thought that America Online was the internet. You've got mail. <laughs> As you can imagine, there are gonna be challenges, but I was having uh, problems thrown at me from every different angle and having to solve them. And it was challenging and that's exactly what I needed at that point in my life. And again, my instructor was such a great instructor. He also encouraged us to not only focus on our technical skills, but also to really look at improving our people skills. So what he would do is um, volunteer the students to help out around the school, repairing computers, helping staff with any kind of technical issues they had. He would also have us give presentations. And one day after a presentation that I had given in, in the particular classroom, I didn't realize how important a certain member of that audience was. But after the presentation, she came up and introduced herself. And she was the director of the school. And she asked me a question. She asked if I could teach night classes, develop a curriculum, and do that. I had never done that before, but could you imagine? This was, this was awesome. Everything is awesome. Everything that I was working for was starting to pay off. And so ever since then, I never really looked back. I made it a point to do my best at creating that curriculum and making a course that really helped individuals. And from that particular course, it was a success. I had a lot of good feedback. And so another job opportunity spawned from that particular uh, night school class. So I guess the moral of my story would be if you put in the hard work and prepare yourself, getting yourself ready, you will be prepared and ready for when those opportunities do present themselves. Because if you are putting in the hard work and effort, they will present themselves. So. If you want to share your story about how you got started in tech, definitely do that in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about, well, how to get started in IT, feel free to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.